Yet in this episode, I'm going to be talking about another copy scent from the Fragrance World brand that you can pick up for just £23 online, which is over 10 times cheaper than the niche fragrance that it's based on. You should instantly uh, recognise which one it's copying just by the bottle design. Uh, but this is called Imperium and it's uh, a dupe of Elysium from Roja Parfums. So to find out all about this one and whether it's any good, stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul and today's scent of the day is called Imperium and it's uh, another one from uh, Fragrance World who are uh, a Middle Eastern clone house from the United Arab Emirates. I bought this from eBay for just £22.99 for this 100ml uh, sized bottle and it comes highly recommended by uh, a few subscribers to the channel so I thought I'd give it a go and try it out for myself. Uh, I'm actually uh, becoming quite a bit of a fan of this brand because uh, so far the ones that I've tested have been uh, pretty accurate to the originals and all come in at really reasonable prices uh, but like I've mentioned before in other videos they do kind of uh, take it to the absolute limit when it comes to knocking off the originals and there's absolutely no doubt what this is uh, meant to be a copy of. Okay, so into the presentation, and it comes in a, a matte black box with uh, gold branding. But I have got to say that it's one of the worst boxes that I've ever come across whilst I've been reviewing fragrances. And the cardboard on it is, is just like so thin that it's just a single step up from being paper. And as soon as I opened it up from the, for the first time, I opened it from the top and the, like the side just split open and the whole thing just kind of fell apart and uh, the bottle fell out. So the least said about the, uh, the box, the better. Uh, but that's that's going to be going straight in the bin uh, as soon as I've reviewed it. Uh, but the bottle, however, is a totally different story, and the presentation on this is uh, right up there with the original Elysium, albeit uh, a pretty shameless knockoff. The bottle is really hefty and it comes in a, a blue graduated glass with gold accents. On the front is the name of the fragrance and then on the back is, uh, is the fragrance world name which is like moulded into the glass at the bottom. You also get a, a fancy gold cap complete with uh, blue jewels all, or, all around it. Uh, so it looks quite cool um, but the cap itself doesn't click into place. It's just a slide on cap like the one I reviewed yesterday but it doesn't come off quite as easy. You get a, a gold atomizer, which is uh, fairly decent enough. And uh, just the bottle alone is really, really high quality. Uh, but this box is uh, absolutely woeful. Yes, yeah, so into the note breakdown, and this one has no less than 21 different fragrance notes. And up top, we've got grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, lime, thyme, artemisia, and galbanum. In the heart of the scent, there's vetiver, juniper berries, blackcurrant, apple, pink pepper, cedar, naga mother, lily of the valley, rose, and jasmine. And the base notes in this are ambergris, leather, vanilla, benzoin, and labdanum. Okay, so let me start by saying that this is remarkably similar to the original from the first spray, right the way through the life of the scent. And all the main accords that you get from Elysium uh, are in this one. And I'd say that you'd struggle to find even the smallest difference between the two. And even if you did, it'd be just like a one or two percent difference. So if you want to pay 220 pounds extra for a one or two percent difference, then definitely go for it. But I'm, uh, I'm sure if you've clicked this video, you somehow won't be doing that. This one opens up with uh, a big blast of fresh zesty citruses with bergamot and lime kind of standing out the most, uh, much more than the lemon and the pineapple do. But there's also some green herbal notes including vetiver, thyme, artemisia and naga mother which all together produce a really outdoor green airy freshness similar like uh, what you'd get from smelling a fir tree up close which comes through very early on as soon as it kind of starts to dry down. 
So what you get for the most part with this one is a very tart, crisp and uplifting scent profile that's got a really mass appealing, likeable quality to it, which is more like a, a designer fragrance because it's just so pleasant and inoffensive. There is a, a bit of muskiness and a, a touch of woodiness later on, uh, but it's very faint and it's kind of in the background. And it's the fresh green notes that remain the constant throughout, um, kind of as it develops. And it, what you get is like a, a really uh, realistic, earthy smelling aroma that kind of reminds me of walking, uh, going for a walk in the country amongst all the trees and the other greenery. It's a simple linear scent that doesn't really change too much over time and the main transformation is probably after that five minute mark, five minute mark when the citruses start to fade and the green notes come through. But apart from that it's not complex and there's absolutely nothing challenging in this whatsoever so um, it does smell uh, a touch more classy and expensive than your average designer fragrance uh, so when you're wearing this in the summertime it does have that kind of expensive feel to it. Uh, but still more on the designer end of the niche spectrum. Yeah, this one is an extremely versatile Dumreach spring and summer scent that would also make for a perfect work or office fragrance or one to pack in your suitcase for your next uh, summer beach holiday. I think it would work well dressed up in a suit or to wear casually with just a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and I can't really think of a, a situation in the warmer weather months uh, where this wouldn't work uh, but I'd personally tend to wear it more as a daytime scent. It would also suit men of any age so pretty much just like a, a great all-rounder uh, and the perfect spray and go type fragrance. Yeah, the performance of the original Elysium is definitely up for debate, with some people claiming it to be really weak and undetectable after about the 15 minute mark or so, and other people claiming that it's super long lasting with a huge projection, uh, but that's kind of the, uh, the fragrance uh, community I suppose. My own experience with both the original and this one is that I do lose connection with them from kind of from time to time, and it's not one that I get constant wafts from. Uh, uh, but the people around me seem to just get more of a benefit from it because I've had absolutely loads of compliments from it even when I think that I can't smell it anymore and uh, also there's uh, there's times when I think it's kind of faded away and 15 minutes later I will actually catch a waft of it myself so it's a bit of a strange one but I'll say it's not the strongest fresh fragrance that I've ever tested but it's uh, fairly long lasting and one that performs uh, as well as the OG if not uh, a bit stronger and it'll definitely get you noticed and uh, for the price that you pay for it uh, you can afford to probably give yourself a few extra sprays. Yeah, for me personally, the original Elysium is a little bit underwhelming for the hefty price tag that you'd have to pay for it. But don't get me wrong, it's a, a super pleasant smelling fragrance that's incredibly versatile and really easy to wear, but it's just not unique or special enough for me. And at £245, I would kind of expect it to have more uniqueness and more of an identity. But in reality, I wouldn't recognise it if somebody walked past me wearing it in the street. But this version at £23 is a totally different story and it just makes me look at it from a, a different perspective and at this price uh, it's a, a total no brainer and one of the kind of safest blind buys that I think you're ever likely to make. It smells exactly like the original and at first glance the presentation looks the part also. And like I mentioned earlier the performance is a little bit concerning if you're going to be paying £200 plus for a fragrance but at 23 quid, I think it exceeds all expectations and it actually performs well for the price that you're going to pay for it. It's a, a really solid pick up for the, uh, for the summer and uh, you literally can't go wrong with this one. Okay, so once again, that's about it for this latest episode. But if you enjoy these uh, kind of clone fragrances, don't forget to also check out yesterday's video if you missed it, where I give my thoughts on this banger from the same brand, which is a, a copy of Stronger With You absolutely from Emporio Armani. And you can watch it by clicking on the on-screen thumbnail at the end of this video.
And as always, guys, if you've got any value from this video and found it useful in any way, then please don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature in these reviews. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.